I'm Shannon Ponton and I'm stoked to be here as your personal coach to help get you prepared physically and mentally. We're here today at the Funky Monkey, an obstacle that's going to test your upper body strength. Stop! Before you claim to have no upper body strength, please understand that's why I'm here. All of our obstacles are going to be a mixture of strength, tactics, teamwork and of course, fun. You've just got to back yourself. It's all about doing something out of the ordinary. There is no failure. But hey, if this one's not for you, there's a bypass lane just over there. Just don't tell them I told you. The best thing about my type of strength training is you can do it absolutely anywhere. As I said, we're gonna build upper body strength absolutely anywhere. If you don't have a steel frame like this sitting in your backyard, you can do it on a timber fence, on a tree, even on a door. Just find some way to do it. We're gonna start with a dead hang. Ladies, jump up, hold onto the rail and hang for me. Let's go for 10 seconds to start. It can be as simple as that. Eight, seven, six, five, four. How are you going? It's as simple as that. It's called a dead hang. I mean, you can start with something as little as 10 seconds. Obviously, if you're a little bit stronger, stretch the distance out. And each week we aim to get a little bit further. Next. Now, chin-ups. And everyone can do a chin-up. Here's how we're going to start. Grab the bar just wider than shoulder width apart. Remember, this can also be done on a, on a timber frame, it can be done on a fence or on a tree branch. Hands a little bit wider. Now, all I want you to do is jump up. When you get to the top, hold yourself there as long as you can. Come down slowly. Congratulations, that's your first chin-up. Start with something as simple as five repetitions to begin with. The stronger you get, Get that gradual increase and start to back yourself. As we say, it's all about having a go. Now we're gonna move over here. So to train for some of our other obstacles like balls to the wall, we need single arm strength. This can be done on a handrail, a door handle, or basically anything that you can get your hand around. The closer you have your feet to the wall, the harder it is. The further away you have your feet, the easier it is. Very good. 10 repetitions on the right side, 10 repetitions on the left side and repeat. But once again, aim to increase the number of reps the stronger you get. Erin, move over to this side for me. Sure. We also need grip strength to climb rope. And remember the training principle of specificity, which means if you want to climb rope, you've got to climb rope. I want you to lay lower yourself down, Erin. Hand over, hand over, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It wasn't like this in rehearsal, was it? Then climb yourself back up, nice work. Again, this is the perfect way to kickstart your rope climbing journey. Don't be put off. Erin's having a ball doing this. Now the same rules apply. The closer in your feet to the wall and the more horizontal you go, the heavier you are, the further away your feet and the less horizontal you go, the easier it is. See, that's upper body strength training in a nutshell. Hopefully you can see that even training can be fun. Bring your smile and that can-do attitude and remember on course, there'll be thousands of other mutters going through the same experiences as you, all ready to step up and give you a hand. For more of my training videos, check out toughmutter.com.au.